Welcome to this pre-recorded video detailing how to play a game called Factor or Multiple. This is a Year 5 game from the sequence 5LS5 in Essential Maths. However, this is a great game to play with Year 6 children to continue to rehearse the difference between and recall of factors and multiples, as well as considering strategy choice. To play Factor or Multiple, it would be useful to create a game board like the one that you can see displayed on the screen. The game board should have the numbers 1 to 24 listed. Only one game board is needed, although these could be laminated so that they can be used repeatedly. Coloured counters will also be useful. If children are playing against one another, they will need two different colours. If they are working collaboratively, you could use only one colour. Firstly, this is how to play the game collaboratively. The aim is to make the longest sequence of numbers. Each number in the sequence must be a factor or a multiple of the previous number. And the numbers can only be used once. It will be a good idea to write the numbers down as you go. Let's say that we start on the number 12. The next number that we choose must be either a factor or a multiple of the number 12. So we could place a counter on 24, as this is the second multiple of 12, or we could place a counter on the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 or 6, as these are all factors of 12. Let's place the counter on the number 4, and remember to make a note of your sequence. Now our next number must be a factor or a multiple of 4. So let's choose a multiple this time and put it on the 8. From the 8, we could go to the 16. There are no multiples of 16 on the board, so it will need to be a factor. We have already used some factors of 16, so let's choose the number 2. And so far, we have a sequence of five numbers. 12, 4, 8, 16, 2. The game carries on like this until we have run out of possible moves. I have carried on the sequence and have managed to create a sequence of 12 numbers. I finished on 13 and there are no factors or multiples of 13 left on the board. Children could either start again, perhaps starting on a different number, or they could make changes to their sequence. For example, if I had moved from 1 to 11, I can make my sequence longer by also using 22. Or instead of going from 10 to 5, I could go from 10 to 20, then to 5 and 15, and so on. Children could be tasked to find if there is a best or worst number to start on, or a most useful or least useful number to land on. Is it possible to cover up all of the numbers? Why? Why not? If the game is being played against an opponent, the aim is to have the most of your coloured counters on the game board when the sequence runs out. Watch the screen to see how these two opponents are playing against each other. The yellow counters win because there are five on the game board. There are no multiples of factors left on the board for 17. So the game comes to an end. As well as rehearsal of factors and multiples, 
This game is also really useful to increase pupils' focus on prime numbers. In both of the example games just showed, the sequence is finished on two prime numbers, 13 and 17. And in both cases, the preceding number chosen was 1. Can pupils use this to their advantage if playing competitively? What implications will this have if playing collaboratively to create the longest or maybe shortest sequence? Is it always, sometimes or never the case that landing on any prime number on the board will end the game? These might be really interesting things for the children to explore. To support children, Multiplication grids or prompts to remind them of the difference between factors and multiples could be provided. A prompt card reading a definition of a factor with some examples could be a really useful aid. Bead strings could be used alongside the game for children to test or prove both factors and multiples. The game board could be increased to include more numbers, perhaps up to 32 or 40. But this does not necessarily make it more challenging, as the fewer numbers on the board means children have to think more strategically about future moves. Increased numbers, however, would provide rehearsal of more factor and multiple relationships.